So a lot of people don't like playing as a turn character simply because they are too slow or they just seem to be far less superior compared to the more faster type of characters, namely the speed or acceleration characters. While it is true that turn characters are generally slower in speed, they are far from being useless, or at least that's what I heard people calling them. Personally, I love playing as a turn character in most situations simply because I feel they are more versatile and flexible in most of the maps. Plus, I do get the occasional wins in online matches using as a turn character. The satisfaction you get from that is much more better than playing as a speed or acceleration character. Now, it is no secret that turn characters are at a huge disadvantage at simpler and straightforward maps such as Crash Cove, Inferno Island, Coco Park, Tiny Temple, and etc. However, there are always ways to increase the odds of winning in any maps as a turn character, and this video is going to show you exactly just that. So here are the 5 important tips you should know while playing as a turn character online, and we're starting right now. So before we begin, at the end of the video there will be a gameplay of me winning an online race while using all of the 5 tips that I'm about to share with you. So do remember to stay through the end to get every info you need from this video. So for tip number 1, this is actually one of the most important thing to do in a race but I'm surprised that not a lot of people bother to do it which is collecting 10 Wompa Fruits as soon as possible. Forget about the weapon craze. As a turn character, you should be prioritizing on getting 10 Wompa Fruits as soon as the race started. The benefit you get from it is too huge, which are increased speed and extra weapon perks. Use this to your advantage as there are many players online who don't even bother to collect 10 Wompa Fruits. So this is a great chance for you to gain the upper edge. Getting 10 Wompa Fruits are actually much more important than getting items early in the match. So only focus on item crates after collecting 10 Fruits. And do try to maintain the 10 Wompa Fruits for the entire match. You will be surprised at how this alone can make a big impact in your game. So once you actually got 10 Wompa Fruits, you should be focusing on items next. Sadly, turn characters are in a state of disadvantage if they ignore using items and weapons. Sure, you might get the lead at first, but usually an advanced or experienced player will chase up to you in no time. So this is why strategic placements of trap items such as beakers and TNT crates are key in maintaining your momentum. Try placing those traps on choke points such as portals or turbo pads. However, sometimes items alone are not enough to keep your opponent away or to chase up whoever is in front of you. So which leads to my next tip. Racing line is key for a turn character. The amount of extra turning stat you get from playing them are a huge advantage for you at more curvy tracks such as Oxide Station, Deep Sea Driving, Hot Air Skyway, Cortex Castle and etc. Another thing you should keep in mind is that a lower stat in speed means more control over your character. This means that it is much easier to drift and maintain in the inner part of a curve without losing speed, compared to a speed character where you will be much slippery and is more prone to lose the inner line. Speaking of having extra control from playing as a turn character, this actually leads to tip number 4. But before we begin, let me know if my video helped you so far by subscribing and clicking on the bell notification below. That way, I'll know that you enjoy my videos and this will allow me to continue making more like this one. So now, let's move on to the next tip. So of course, it is expected that Blue Fire and Sacred Fire plays an extremely important role in winning races, especially as a turn character, this is no exception. If you already know what is Blue Fire and Secret Fire, then you should have no problem in understanding how to maintain them during races. However, if you don't know much about maintaining Blue Fire and Secret Fire yet, don't worry as I've already created a separate video on it on my channel, where I go through everything you need to know about Blue and Secret Fire, and I'll link it in the comment section down below for your convenience. And with that said, this is actually tied to tip number 5 which contains two tips in one. 
which is that you have to master drift boosting and know your shortcuts in all the maps. CTR is an aggressive and unforgivable card racer, unlike any other if you don't utilize the core mechanics that are presented to you. Drift boosting is pretty self-explanatory, as your main goal is to get as many perfect boosts while drifting as much as possible. I would recommend practicing this as much as you can to get the feel and rhythm of the boost timing. Trust me, this alone can already determine the difference between a fast and slow player. And let's not forget about the shortcuts as well, as this may take some time to get used to. So try playing all the maps first and practice them in time trial against Nitro's Oxide. The reason is because Oxide usually uses most of the important shortcuts in every map. So by beating him alone, you are already considered better than most players, which means winning as a turn character becomes much easier. So these are my take on how to play a turn character much more effectively. I will now move on to a gameplay of me using a turn character online while using all 5 tips that I just showed you as a real life example. Then again, if you enjoyed this video, do remember to subscribe. So yeah, that is all of the tips and gameplay example in this video. If you realize, I've aimed to get 10 Wumpa Fruits as soon as possible during the first lap. And after that, it is free sailing from there. Unfortunately, I didn't get as many TNT crates and beakers as I would like. But if I did, I would have placed the traps on the shortcuts and tight areas around the map. And secondly, I tried to keep blue fire for the entirety of the race as that is the main reason that I actually won. However, on some maps, uh, especially Clockwork Wumpa or some tighter maps, that it is really difficult to maintain blue fire because of just how small and tight some roads are. So you might ha have some difficult in maintaining blue fire on some of the maps. But nevertheless, just keep practicing and don't push yourself down just because of some losses. Even pro and advanced players lose sometimes, so don't get discouraged. And with that said, that's it for the video and I'll see you in the next one.